2025 Mini Countryman Electric, Pioneering Electric Adventure Mini's transformation towards electrification is evident, though its initial foray into the U.S. market with the Cooper SE didn't quite hit the mark. Despite being one of the more affordable EV options upon its debut, its limited battery capacity and sub-150 mile range didn't quite align with American preferences at the time, rendering it somewhat niche. However, Mini is set to redeem itself with the impending arrival of the 2025 Mini Countryman Electric, officially dubbed the Countryman SE All 4, tailored to resonate more broadly with U.S. consumers. Built on the third-generation Countryman platform, this electric SUV boasts a substantial 64.7 kWh battery, nearly double the size of its predecessor, promising an impressive 245 miles of range. Equipped with dual electric motors generating 308 horsepower, 230 kilowatts, at its peak, this model stands as Mini's largest offering yet, catering to evolving family needs while ensuring brand loyalty. Having had the opportunity to test drive both the Countryman SE All 4 and the gas-powered Countryman John Cooper Works in Portugal, Carbus concludes that the electric variant reigns supreme. Externally, Mini's approach to electrification mirrors that of its parent company BMW, maintaining a cohesive aesthetic across its EV and internal combustion engine models. The Countryman SE bears a striking resemblance to its ICE counterpart, distinguished by a subtly redesigned grille featuring a distinctive yellow S-badge and exclusive 20-inch windmill spoke two-tone wheels. Our test vehicle, finished in slate blue with vibrant silver accents, exuded a tasteful charm with the gold-tinged elements adding visual appeal without being overly ostentatious. In typical Mini fashion, a variety of color options will be available for owners to customize their builds, adding a unique touch. Enhancing this customization further, the headlights and taillights offer three modes, Classic, Favored, and JCW, allowing for alterations to the lighting signature. Interior, Stylishly Sustainable Mini describes the Countryman's interior as sustainable chic, and this isn't just empty marketing talk. The cabin boasts distinctive design elements, innovative material choices, and clever storage solutions, creating a truly unique atmosphere. In our top trim test model, Vessen Vintage Brown Synthetic Leather Upholstery gives a luxurious feel, complemented by heated front seats and a basic massage function for the driver. Adding a vibrant touch to the cabin, the dash is adorned with a multicolored mixed textile cloth in a striking blue and brown combination, designed to resist water and stains despite its cloth construction. On the tech front, a new 9.4-inch circular display mimics the classic Mini Central speedometer digitally. This versatile screen offers eight different themes, displaying not only speed but also various infotainment features. However, we did observe some input lag with the system, which hopefully Mini can address before customers take delivery, given the system's promising capabilities. Additionally, a convenient pop-up head-up display places essential information, like speed, directly in the driver's line of sight, minimizing distractions. Practicality. Spacious for families. As previously mentioned, the latest Countryman is the largest vehicle ever produced by Mini, boasting over 5 inches of additional length compared to its predecessor. This increased size translates to a more generous rear seating area capable of comfortably accommodating two adults. Cargo space is equally impressive, with the Countryman SE offering 25 cubic feet of storage behind the seats, expandable to 57 cubic feet when the seats are folded down. A notable increase of 10 cubic feet compared to the outgoing model. Apart from the expanded cargo space, the new Countryman offers more storage options for small items within the cabin. The center console features multiple storage trays, a wireless charger, and a unique mini box designed to discreetly stow away miscellaneous items. Powertrain. Potent performance. While Europe will have access to a base model Countryman E equipped with a single electric motor on the front axle, the US market will exclusively receive the dual motor SE variant. Combined, these two electric motors generate an impressive 308 horsepower and 364 lbft of torque, surpassing even the JCW in terms of torque output. Despite the Countryman Electric's heavier build compared to its internal combustion engine counterpart, its 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 5.6 seconds is only two tenths of a second slower than the JCW. However, due to the SE's substantial torque and immediate power delivery, it often feels quicker in typical driving conditions. 
Equipped with a 64.7 kilowatt hour battery, the Countryman offers a targeted range of 245 miles, which though not groundbreaking, is certainly practical. Mini's decision to opt for a smaller battery size means that excessively fast charging isn't necessary, with the charging rate peaking at 130 kilowatts. Consequently, a 10 to 80% charge can be achieved in under 30 minutes. Driving experience, tailored for electrification. Mini's goal has always been to create one of the most agile and spirited crossovers on the market, and the transition to electrification has only amplified these attributes. With 308 horsepower under the hood, the Countryman SE accelerates briskly from a standstill, accompanied by unique propulsion sounds emitted through the speakers that vary with different drive modes. While these sounds can be deactivated for a quieter experience, they undoubtedly add an element of excitement to the acceleration process. Additionally, the Countryman offers seven driving modes. Core, Green, Vivid, Balance, Timeless, Personal, and Go-Kart. The go-kart mode, in particular, is a standout, enhancing the car's responsiveness with sharper steering, throttle, and amplified noise. It's noteworthy how the entire driving experience, including lighting, screen displays, and sound, dynamically adjusts based on the selected drive mode, enhancing the overall driving engagement. Speaking of the steering, it lacks some of the feedback found in previous Mini models due to the increased weight of the Countryman. Nevertheless, it remains responsive and enjoyable to use. While the ride leans towards the firmer side, it remains comfortable enough for daily driving duties. In comparison to its BMW counterpart, the X2, which can feel harsh over bumps, the Countryman offers a softer, more cushioned experience akin to a marshmallow. Its lower center of gravity adds to the driving enjoyment, allowing for just enough body lean through corners to make it a playful companion on the road. Pricing and Conclusion Choosing the Right Model while it might not boast the fastest figures on paper, the Countryman SE All 4 is competitively priced. Starting at $45,200, with additional costs for options, excluding the $995 destination fee, the Countryman Electric's pricing remains below that of the Countryman JCW, which begins at $46,900. Despite the JCW's sportier intentions, we find the SE's instant acceleration and practicality more appealing. Offering more power for less money, the SE emerges as the better value proposition within the Countryman range. Perhaps many should consider introducing an electric JCW variant in the US market, blending performance with electrification. The Mini brand has never been synonymous with affordability, and the Countryman Electric continues this trend. While there are cheaper mainstream EV options available, the Mini distinguishes itself with its distinctive styling, generous standard features, and enthusiastic performance. If you're a fan of the Mini brand and ready to embrace electric mobility, the new Countryman is sure to impress. Alternatively, if you're seeking an EV that stands out from the crowd of ubiquitous Teslas, the Mini warrants serious consideration. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.